Is life kicking you in the butt? And you just really want to learn about shared preferences for Android? Well, then this tutorial is for you because that's what we're going to get into. What shared preference is, is basically a settings menu that our app is going to know. You know, we could save some information, string data, boolean, whatever we want. And then each time we launch our app, um, it will remember that because it's in a settings menu of some sort. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new class here and we're just going to call it our settings uh, class. And uh, within our settings class, it's actually going to be ex an activity. So let's do extends activity and uh, all the stuff that we always do. And throw in an onCreate method. And we'll set some of these up later. Um, but we want to make sure we have our onCreate method in there. We want to make sure we have a few methods that we're going to create, such as like a load preferences or load prefs, maybe. Um, so that's you know one method that we're going to create. And what this is going to be is a private void. So that's cool. Um, another one we want want to do maybe is a save preferences because you want to be able to save preferences. We'll be able to load preferences. Um, so we're just going to create a another method, and what the value or the parameters that we're going to work with here is a string value first. We're going to refer to this string as a key, and we're also going to refer to a boolean value because we're going to have a checkbox within our settings menu. And so we're going to save some information, whether it's checked or unchecked, with this save preference method. Method. And again, this is going to be a private void. And let's copy and paste this uh, because we also might want to save a string uh, information. So we're going to have a string again for the key. And instead of st saving a Boolean value, uh, we're going to save a string value as well. Okay, So we have some basic methods set up. Again, they aren't doing anything right now. But that's kind of what we're going to work with within our setting settings menu. I should probably just create a blank application that you guys could download and just we wouldn't have to go through this setting everything up but uh, I'm kinda lazy sometimes so it's probably not gonna happen but if someone feels obligated to do a blank canvas that I could put on the website or something I definitely appreciate it um, but again no 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 worries there so uh, let's go and create a linear layout we're gonna call this our settings layout um, and then now that we have a settings XML uh, we can go back to our settings and do a set content view of our settings or r dot layout dot settings um, and then within our settings menu it's gonna be pretty boring uh, let's see we we'll probably want a checkbox and a text view and what else let's do like a edit text um, so let's go into the XML here and it changes from checkbox to uh, display name. So we're going to change the text view to uh, enter your name. Um, and we also probably want a button to save everything. Oops. So let's go back to our graphical layout and throw in a button. And this button will be uh, save. So again, our graphic graphical layout looks pretty boring, pretty messed up, but uh, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, maybe move this edit text down here. Um, so we'll say enter your name, and then we can save that if we want to display the name and other uh, activities, or uh, uncheck it and it won't display any information. So that's what we're kind of going towards. So what we're going to be able to do is we're going to save again a check box value or a boolean value. We're also going to save a string value, which is going to be your name. This will validate if we want to, you know, update this page and save it. That's how it's going to work. So um, we have everything pretty much set up. Again, make sure you check out the next tutorial because it's going to be awesome.